Okay, so I received a request to do a tutorial for beveling cubes from SWAT1. He previously made a tutorial for this, but uh, uh, I thought that his way was inefficient, and so uh, I thought I would make my own tutorial for it. So, first we're going to make a cube, and then we're going to scale it on the y-axis so that it's a little bit uh, short. And then we're going to take those faces, extrude them, and then just scale them back along the y-axis to the place where the original ones were. We can do vertex, snap to grid to make sure they're, the, they're in the exact same space. Um, and then we're basically going to make, we're going to do the same thing except um, we're going to do it with this side. So we're going to take them and we're going to scale them. But we want it to be as close to the same distance as possible. Right, okay. And now we're just going to see these vertices right here. Well, we're going to bring in our flatten tool and we're going to go Shift Control Z. And we're going to do that on the top there. And now you see you have slightly beveled there. Now we're going to want to just take all the vertices here that aren't in the uh, you know the actual that aren't within the actual cube itself and we're just gonna scale them in slightly like that and you see now we have our build cube but it's not perfect we need to take these faces and then scale them along the z-axis so that they line up right there Right, and then we're going to shift control X with these faces just to ensure that they do line up. Uh, you see this is a little taller than this one, so we'll just scale it along the X axis until they're the exact same size. Another thing is if you have uh, made your bevel in this way, then if you look at your model statistics, it has 60 triangles, but it should only have uh, 44 triangles uh, if you count up every face as two except for those corners those count as one then you'd get uh, 44 and so to fix this you're gonna want to use your weld together select all vertex weld together look at your model statistics you have 44 uh, but now it's not flat shaded so you'll just unweld and then weld together after deselecting auto smooth and uh, you see you have your bevel and it looks nice. You can use this bevel method to make other things not just you know beveled cubes. For instance I'll make a handle well actually I'll make a pistol grip here using the same method for beveling. Right? So we'll just give it the basic shape that we want it to have. Uh, this will just be a block land pistol grip. Right, and then we can extrude that there, and we will scale it right to that line uh, if we want to. That's what I'm going to do just for now, and then I'll take all these faces on the back here, extrude them and then scale them to the same line right now our handles looking a little fatty so we'll move them forward like that we can move them back and forth just to get the right length if we want to but we'll just leave it for that like that for now and then we'll just extrude it like this Alright, so we have a basic beveled handle here. And we can just clean it up a little bit. You know, uh, move this over a little bit so that it looks a little more like a beveled. So it looks smoother and nicer. Right? Alright. And then we'll just want to delete these faces here two faces we should be able to do it we'll get that one get 
that one, right? And then we can make our own new faces here and here, and then here and there. And that's how I made my handle, my uh, pistol grip that I use for most of my newer models.